This is Arosha Shive, host of Satoshi Treasure Hunters, a channel that covers the news, updates, clue drops, and solves of the alternative reality game Satoshi's Treasure Hunt, a game that allows the participants called hunters and the clans that they form to win a grand prize of $1 million USD in Bitcoin. This is season two, and for our first weekly update, which is for August 13th to August 20th, well, let's just say things haven't quite progressed as we like. So let's get to the update. So after a progression of clue drops that had occurred, there's been a bit of a silence on the end of the game makers and I want to say it's discouraging just can disc a bit disappointing that's the word I want to use uh, disappointing by the fact that they haven't um, really communicated so far with any of the hunters or clans uh, there hasn't been any clue drops since the 15th uh, there have been some clue solves and Again, if this game is supposed to take a, a year for it to take place, these these things need to start start coming out, and it's just it's just very odd. I don't know if it's because of the summer, if it's a lag, but given that the fact that many of the hunters are not teenagers or not going to school, maybe some of them are in college or whatever, but it seems from the traffic and the dialogue that most are pretty mid twenties, adult, established, that. Summer vacation is really not much of a thing or priority, really. So, for pe people are doing this in their spare time, whether they're on vacation or working or family and stuff like that. So, for these clues not to, it's it's just a bit annoying. So, let's talk about the solves that have happened and what's going on with the hunt itself. So we'll talk about the little bit of the knuffle, uh, which I spoke to about, about during one of the clue drops, about GMT time. But this is the last communique that uh, Satoshi's Treasure has done, and it's about the pair key. So to clarify, the pair key will be expired at midnight GMT on August 16th. Sorry for confusion. So far, the winner is Moss Cathedral of Corbo Corbo, Spain, Hamilton Airport, Hamilton, New Zealand. 20,014 uh, kilometers. I myself participated in this particular clue drop, even though I knew I wasn't going to uh, win, or should I say the pair key, it wasn't gonna win, but it was fun. I'll have a link in the show notes if you wanna see my pair. But um, there hasn't been an official declaration on the part of the game makers concerning who's the winner of this key and also the winner of the street key. So that's a bit odd. This ended, you know, August 16th. It's August 20th. There hasn't been an update. And the street key uh, ended uh, July 28th. So it's, it's, it's been a while. So let's just hop into the site real quick. So the tone key was the last, you know, fool your ear clue. The tone key was on August 15th, was the last to drop. The street key was all the way back, um, 714 is when that dropped, but it ended because it was a contest key with video, uh, July 29th. July 29th is when that ended. And there it had Eastern Standard Time as a date. And we'll get back to the time knuffle on that. But the pair key was dropped um, July 18th, and it's another contest key. Again, they um, they changed it to, it was August 15th, and now it's August 16th, 2019 at midnight GMT, um, the pairing with the maximum distance. And with the, both of those contest keys, there has not been an official declared winner. So the pair key and the street key have not yet been awarded to anyone. Now the STC key, uh, the happy birthday key, which was the token key, it's finally off of coin, um, was it coin market cap? 
you finally can't can't search for that key anymore so there's no way for anyone to be able to solve that it was available for a little bit so if you had jumped into the game just a couple weeks ago or mid july you were still able to acquire that key even though it stayed expired but now it's off of coin market cap and you can't get it so just to demonstrate nope So STC by the initials, it doesn't come up. Satoshi's treasure coin. And no, it's it's gone. So there's an update there on that game. It's finally officially expired. Uh, the checkerboard key, no one has declared that they have found it. So that is a, an unsolved uh, puzzle, if you will. Uh, of course, the Corrupted key has been solved. The Chroma key has been solved. The Hackathon key, uh, we talked about the issues about the fact that not everybody can, in fact, uh, participate depending on their location that has all the way to September 1st so it's August 20th now so you have still a bit of a time to uh, enter that development contest which is being paired with coin lists and try to win that particular key not to mention the prize money involved uh, the United key no one has declared winner for the United key uh, so the last two keys have in fact been solved so both the Toshi uh, Cypher group have stated that they have found um, the world key, both of them. Same thing with the steam key, they have found, um, let's move that over. So if you look at the world key cache zero two, time and space, one location was in Chicago, and I have a link in the show notes to the ST News Hunt. They actually physically went to Chicago and did a video of it, and did um, met up with a hunter there, and showed their journey um, to the location. So you can watch that yourself and see um, a fellow hunter uh, trying to you know, going out and trying to acquire and eventually acquiring um, this geolocation key. Uh, the Seattle key was also found. And then those who document their uh, journey, if you will, get an additional key. So there was up to three keys available for individual hunters or clans to acquire. Um, I haven't heard anybody say that they have not been able to find these keys after August 16th. As you can see, it's still marked available on the site, so it's very possible that those uh, GPS locations are still up. Uh, we'll get back to a little bit in a second about that key as well. And then you had Fool Your Ears uh, Clue, which was for the tone key. That was the music MP4 file in which you had to decipher 10 songs that were in the mix. I had stated, um, I think I made a comment in my um, channel that I thought R.E.M.'s um, To Whom, To The One I Love from the 80s uh, was one of the songs, but it's not. I um, from the different clans that have announced that they solve uh, Toshi Cypher and, and the, St the Steam Clan that uh, 
So an update on um, a video I had done before we get into some of the uh, nitty gritty of the hunt news. Uh, I had talked about the original OG crypto puzzle torch hearts or the legend of Soshi Nakamoto or one flame uh, six and it was the physical painting was up for sale. I have a link uh, at the end of the video. I'm right here. Uh, for anyone who's interested in watching a little bit about um, that puzzle. And uh, it went up for sale. Its auction date was closing at Sunday, um, August 18th. And if someone did win, it's 37.5 Ethereum. They uh, won the auction. If you go to the auction site, which is done by OC.io, um, it says right here 13.7 um, you can look at the different prices of the bids that were going on alright this site is just being goofy on me So if you look at the price of Ethereum right now, which is $200 a pop. It's $7,511. So that's, that's not bad for owning an original part of crypto history. I thought it would go a little bit higher, maybe because it was being Ethereum. I think, uh, what is this called? Open Seas is an Ethereum project. I know that Coin Artist has is doing stuff on the um, you know blockchain games, which is primarily an Ethereum you know decentralized app dev uh, development that's going on with her Neon District project. So she accepted Ethereum. Um, I'm not even sure if it was done in Bitcoin if it got any higher, uh, but you know somebody now owns that physical painting. And it'll be interesting to see as time goes on what the value of that particular painting will be as far as you know the history of Bitcoin is placed in that history um, as time goes on and even as coin artists becomes a bit more famous you know sometimes certain artists uh, their paintings and early paintings become increasingly of value because you can see their progression as an artist and you have that like earliest look or view of their greatness if you will uh, what that could add the weight to the value of the particular painting so some weird a bit uh, news uh, Eric Melser in the public chat because there was a bit of an issue of um, people getting booted out of the, the public chat uh, stated that of course it's not an official channel but it's a nice place to chat and that was August 17th which is very odd to me considering that many of the geolocation um, clues that they had, they have a QR code that sends people to this particular telegram chat. So it makes it seem like it's official. So it, I understand that, that it's nice to shout out places that, are, that a community might form that's associated with things that you're doing. But I think maybe it would be nice to have a definitive you know demarcation of official channel outputs because currently right now the public channel is kind of a bit of a mess um, as far as a little bit of spam and just weird activities going on in it um, it would be nice to have maybe just an official like the Twitter account official controlled by the game makers channel op option for people uh, but even still, the public channel that has been created uh, on Telegram is still a great source of resources for people and engagement. It allows for new hunters and clans to kind of gather information, gather resources, gather people, bounce off ideas and chit chat and just talk about this particular game. So in the public channel and you can probably go back through the conversation there has been a bit of an issue with this whole GMT time and GM time is the greenish maritime time it's 
you know, zero, like London is, you know, the declarative place, but it's not something that people utilize any longer. Um, it's very antiquated, if you will. Everyone's pretty much at UTC um, is the, the declarative time, even though I think London is still zero for UTC. Even on this site that keeps track of uh, Greenish Mean Time, uh, it says it's not currently observed in the UK. So see London for the time in UK and London, and I guess London is not is on GMT, but not UT. Or um, if you click on London, it's currently British summertime. So it's UTC plus one. And then the standard time for Greenwich meeting time or GMT slot dash UTC on the bottom here starts October 27th at 2019. So it's it's a little weird. Personally, what I took it for a GMT was just, you know, antiquated London by London time for any of the dates and times. But let's see. If you look at the world cash, you have, you know, local time. So Chicago, local time for um, the availability. Now I didn't actually have a specified time here for Chicago, but uh, local time 6 p.m. in Seattle, and then the date would pop up or the geolocation will pop up. But that actually didn't quite happen. It was two hours earlier, so it was actually on Chicago time that it popped up um, the great location. So if you were monitoring the site you got a little bit of a heads up on people so you have that particular thing going on the pair key again it was marked uh august originally august 15th 2019 at gmt time but it switched august 16th and so I think it would be best if they had UTC and maybe designate a particular location, like it's August 16, 2019 at, you know, London UTC time. And then just stick with London or stick with Hong Kong or Tokyo or Beijing every time at that particular date when they're going to expire some things, that location. So everyone gets their calendars and times um, situated. Shrieky different different time eastern standard 11 59 p.m eastern standard time okay um i don't think you really need to have you know new york or Chi not well chicago is in central time uh boston or something like that um but i think it's it'd be helpful if they were very consistent with their times for the expiration so people know when things are supposed to be put up and submitted and there's no confusion So this goes back to consistency in communication, one voice, consistent along the, the clue lines of we'll always be doing everything in Eastern Standard Time or we'll be always doing everything in UTC. So that way people know where their, their bases are, they know how to plan and do things. And it's these little kind of like I, I've stated before in previous videos, these little hiccups, these little mistakes that keep piling and adding then makes it very difficult to uh, navigate the game and in some cases make some solutions for puzzles. Um, <clears throat> particularly with some of the more ethical concerns when it comes to uh, some of these contests with, you know, exposing your, your location or place or uh, face to order to earn a prize or paying for a prize, for example, the um, charitable contribution for the philanthropy key, key or the fact that um, some of these coin lists um, hackathon development things are, you know, you're three or four days behind everybody else that could potentially be aware of the, uh, the hackathon or the um, zero knowledge key to be able to do some development puts people put on a bit of a bad footing let's make sure oh. yeah. 
So that's where we are so far with the hunt in the game. It's like I said, there's like I said, there was a bit of a knuffle about the fact of the inconsistencies of time zones with some of the attachments to some of these puzzles. Um, that the telegram, and even if you look down here and hit telegram, it goes directly to the telegram. But it's not an official channel. Again, consistencies. So we've had that issue with just the game makers for the hunt. Um, the solves, again, um, going from the street key, it hasn't been announced who the winner is for that contest. The world catch key, as you know, has already been solved. The other contest key, the pair key, hasn't been given out. The SEC key, which has been solved, um, is officially expired. If you go to Coin Market Cap, uh, the listing has been pulled for the SEC coin. Um, it was up there for a while, even though it was marked as expired on the site. The checkerboard key, uh, no one has stated that they have solved that particular key. The corrupted key has been solved. Uh, the, coma, the chroma key has been solved. Uh, the hackathon key is one of those development um, contest keys. Uh, you have all the way to September 1st to gather a group, and if you have some development skills, put your proposal in, and if you win, you could earn uh, a social treasure key. The United, the United key, and no one has declared that they have found or solved this particular puzzle. The world key has been solved, but it's still available for any hunter or clan out there to be able to solve it. The tongue key has been solved. There's been two public clans that have declared that they've solved it. It's still available for anybody to solve. So that's it for this weekly update. Um, as soon as a new clue drops, of course I'll do a, a clue drop video. Um, but that's it for me for now on this particular video. Um, hope you've been informed to be able to do, you know, report back to your clans, take the information in stride. Um, my, so my name is Erosia Sharp. This is Soshi's Treasure Hunters. Uh, you have been updated. Good luck to all the clans and hunters out there. On with the hunt.